Oh yeah, that pool is only for decoration. <laughs> Forgot to mention that. <laughs> oh crap, that hurt. Button. Yo, 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 this is Games and Graphics, we back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you, and today we are going to be installing Villa J Way, it's an add-on wide map, okay, this thing is huge, it's one of my favorite maps, uh, let me see if I can show you a couple of pictures here, this will be our little drive, um, our driveway to our house from the street, we got a whole bunch of uh, palm trees added, some nice little cars, big pool. We even got some teleports that teleport us to our little playroom in our garage. Got our own office, huge bedroom. We even got a little shoot range in here too. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. As I encourage everybody before they install any script or mod, always read the description that the author has provided for you. In this description, we have uh, some uh, requirements that we are going to need in order to install this mansion right here. The first one is Map Builder, okay? That link right here is going to lead you to this page, which is Map Builder Mod. I recently did a video on this, so I will leave a link down in description to a video showing you how to install Map Builder Mod. And the next requirement we are going to need is custom maps, which you will find in Map Editor and Menu to Wide Map Converter. I recently did a video on this one as well. I will have a link down in the description to that video showing you how to install custom maps. All right. Once you have those installed, you want to come back to Villa J Way add-on Y map. All right. Scroll down and you want to select the current version of the Y map, which is 1.1. Okay. You want to uh, you want to download right here where it has a green arrow. Once you have Villa J Way downloaded. It should look like this right here on uh, my left hand side. I have an empty folder with Villa J Way downloaded inside of it. And on my right hand side, I have my Grand Theft Photo 5 directory. Um, uh, you're also going to need Open 4. I will leave a link down in the description showing you how to install Open 4 as well. Now that we have our Grand Theft Photo 5 directory opened up right here on my right hand side. What we want to do is go ahead and go to our scripts folder. Okay. Um, we are also going to need our script hook v, script hook v.net. Um, if you have those installed, you should already have your scripts folder with native UI inside. So let's go ahead and open up our scripts folder. Now, from this point, we want to create a new folder and name it auto load maps. Okay, you want to name it auto load maps just like I have right here. All right, now let's go ahead and open up our auto load maps folder once it's created. Now let's go over to our Villa J Way folder. Let's open up that folder. Inside there will be instructions with a couple of files. We want to scroll down to the end and select vehicles J. Okay, you want to select that one drag and drop that right here into our auto load maps that we just created as you can see I already have it now once that has been added we can go ahead and minimize our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory and open up our open 4 I have my opened up I have uh, my open 4 opened up on my right hand side <laughs> now from this point what we need to do is find our custom maps folder that we have installed already so let's go ahead and open up our mods folder select update then select 64 select dlc packs select custom maps select dlc.rpf select x64 select levels select gta5 select uh, city e select maps 
and then select custom maps.rpf. Inside this custom maps.rpf is where we will be adding our files. Now let's go back over to our Villa Jayway. And we are going to be taking these three YMAP files. Let's see real quick. There we go. We are going to be taking these three YMAP files that I have highlighted. Okay. So you are going to need Jayway Fix, Kuka Cool, and Popolo. Popolo. Okay. So just take these three that I have highlighted. Look real carefully and make sure that you are taking the YMAP files, three YMAP files, and we are going to drag and drop those three YMAP files right here into our custom maps. All right. Once you drop it, you will see them right here. Okay. These will be the three that we just installed. All right. Once those have been installed, you can go ahead and click close all archives and we could exit out of open four minimize any other windows we have open and run the game all right once you load into the game you go ahead and press pause and teleport over right here okay you want to teleport over right here on the map okay right here where i have my marker at this is where you want to teleport. This is where um, the house will be at. Okay. I'm scrolling one more time. All right. Let's go ahead and teleport over there. And as you can see, as soon as we teleport, we will see our ramp leading up to our house. All right. So it's very important that you have a um, map builder installed or this you won't see they don't make me commit a one you won't see a lot of these props, okay? I don't think that you will see your uh, ramp or anything. Wow. <laughs> you won't see your ramp or your house parks. What the hell? Alright, now that we finally got a car to drive up the ramp. <laughs> you're gonna need a car also, because there's there's no way to get up there without uh actually driving so you're gonna need a car to drive up here on this ramp be careful on this ramp also because you could fly off this thing real quick all right drive up inside now we can either drive to the top or you could park in right here Go ahead and just uh, park in here. I'll turn the car around real quick. Let me give y'all a quick tour of the house. All right. So let's start off with our garage. Inside here, we have our safe. Just walk to the teleport circle. You'll see a little white circle right there. If you don't see any white circles, uh, press insert on your keyboard to reload the scripts and you should see it if you don't see it after you press insert then you probably will have to uh, restart the game and from that point on you should see it all right now um that is the safe it has money and guns and stuff and this is the shooting range for some reason when i go through this when i uh enter into the shooting range frank always falls through the map Okay, um, so I'm not gonna walk through there today and everything because I got a feeling he's still gonna fall through that floor. But um, I'm just gonna show y'all from right here. That is the shooting range. If you look way up there, down at the end of the shooting range, you'll see some bloody body parts. <laughs> All right, so this is your shooting range right here. We got a couple of cars with some car covers on it. We got our bikes down there. That's our little uh, station. We can work on our cars and stuff. And if you walk right here, this will be an elevator. Walk to the circle and it will lead you to your playroom. Okay. This is actually uh, the second level. It's the level in between your garage and your house. Okay. This one has a, a ping pong table. It got your uh, ice hockey. Well, well, not ice hockey, but air hockey table. Two arcades. Pool table. You got some weights. Uh, weight bench you know got all that even got a nice punching bag hanging up there and it has darts also okay 
All right, we got some surfboards just in case uh, we want to go surfing. We also got a nice little speed punching bag up here, a little speed bag, whatever that's called. A little lounge area. All right, and in here is the elevator. This will take you into the house. And this will teleport you right here under your stairs, right inside your house, okay? Now, if you go out here, go out your garage, this is the cars that we had placed inside the auto load maps folder. So every time we turn the game on, these cars, they auto load right here. Okay, so we don't need to uh, load them up with the uh, menu or map editor. We just, it just auto loads, okay? Uh, let's see where else I can show y'all. Y'all have seen the pretty ladies out here. This is the pool area. This will be your living room area right here. All right, then you got your pool tables right here. We have a dog house out back. And we also have our nice uh, helicopter pad out back with the helicopter, including our own basketball court right here. We got a basketball hoop. Let's see what else. We got some neat stuff upstairs. I like how these doors open on this house also. You go right here, doors open up to your bedroom. Inside your bedroom, you got your nice little bath right here. Uh, you got your closet right here. Uh, oh, this is a window. Okay, let me see, is there anything behind the closet? Nope, just space. All right, so we got our bathroom thing right there. We got the closet here um, let's see we got a bed right here and everything's nice we got a kick-ass view you know what I mean we can see uh Del Piro uh, De what was it called Del Piro Heights well we can see the pier from right here we can definitely see the pier from right here now right across from our bedroom will be uh let me get in first person mode. Right across from our bedroom will be our office. It also has a door. If you walk up to the door, the doors will slide open and we will be inside of our office. We have a suitcase full of money and we have a laptop on the desk with a TV in the sky. It's like a little radar TV showing us uh, our, what's around us. Let me go ahead and make this, uh, make the weather clear. Right, so inside here will be our office. We got two doors that we can exit out of on each side. They both slide open. Okay. All right. So that's pretty much it right there. We got uh, some chairs up here we can sit at and watch the little ladies and stuff in our pool. Uh, you know, smoke a fat one and look at our view. <laughs> so this is it right here, y'all. Uh, if y'all enjoyed this video or if it helped y'all out to install it, go ahead and smash that like button. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And share the video with y'all friends that are in the modding GTA 5, y'all. This game's graphics, me and big ballin' ass Frank. We are going to see y'all next time. Oh yeah, that pool is only for decoration. <laughs> Forgot to mention that. <laughs> oh crap, that hurt. I bet it did. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.